Well, that's weird using my iPad. This is what all I used to use <laughs> for doing my videos. But the camera sucks. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm downloading. Come on. Ah. So I'm downloading videos from my phone. I do this, uh, you know, periodically. I'll get around 200 videos and photos, and I'll transfer them to my PC. Then they get copied onto hard drives. Copy, copy, copy. So there's three copies. So right now, my, my PC has been copying my phone for around 15 minutes, and it is not, it's around one-third of the way. Maybe. Because all, all of the video is 4K. My phone is set to keep original and, and JPEG. Not, not their fancy, you know, uh, proprietary bullshit. Just fucking JPEG. It, it films in the native 4K and it's compatible with any other device anywhere. That's how you set your phone, okay? Anything else, you're, you're robbing yourself and the rest of the world the experience that you want to show them in true 4K. If you upload anything to the cloud, please go read that agreement. I've said this before. It's mainly because I'm mad at my granddaughter because she does, she's, is so much work. Once you've got 2,000 photos and your phone is full and they're like, oh, buy more cloud space. Okay, well, Everything that they're kicking out of your phone to make more space goes up into the cloud. Your phone doesn't have more space. And what you get back, this is the thing. That EULA has a big triple spaced print warning. Make a copy of all of your videos and photos before you upload anything to the cloud. They tell you that clearly and with no ambiguity. They want to make damn sure you understand that they're going to destroy and ruin your 4K videos and photos. That they're going to compress that file into the smallest possible fucking space they can because they don't want to keep gigantic, uh, you know, petaflops of fucking memory because... What's petabytes? Yeah, like a thousand petabytes of data because everyone wants to now film in 4K and 8K. That's a lot of data. If you film a 15 minute video with my GoPro on its highest resolution, 5K, um, it takes a while to download that. There's, there's a lot of information there. If you send that up to the cloud and then re-download that, it takes about 15 seconds. That will tell you how much data compression has happened and how little of the original video you took remains. I don't put any of my, I don't put anything on my phone, really. Uh, I should. There are some videos I would like to put on my phone, but they want me to use an outside application. So I'm trying to find a way to get videos and files in through iTunes without having to use VLC. Pain in the ass. I just hate the whole damn... I hate this whole... The, 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 the system is designed for them to make gigatons of fucking money and to give us as little in return for that as possible. See, they won't tell you that when they tell you to get your extra data in the cloud. Oh, it's only 99 cents. Oh, so I'm paying 99 cents a month to have you ruin all of my pictures and videos. What a fantastic service that is. So it's still not halfway. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty damn scary. This is going to take, I can tell you right now, this is going to take 15 minutes to complete, maybe 20 minutes to complete this download from my phone. 
uh, all in 4K in the highest quality. And if I, if I downloaded all of that from the cloud, it would literally take 15 or 20 seconds. You can figure out how much data is missing. Read the end user license agreement before you put anything in the iCloud. I'm actually, this is actually me talking to my granddaughter in case she sees this video. You cannot, you can't go back. You can't go back. People get older, people die, people are born, people grow. You have to have all of those steps involved so that those memories can be passed on. We don't sit around the fireplace and pass stories on the way we used to, you know what I mean? We do it in digital format now with pictures. But if you break your device, there goes all your shit. That's why people use the iCloud, see? But if you simply download it onto permanent hard drives, it's also in its original format, and it doesn't get lost if you break your phone. <laughs>